The Frozen Inferno, sub-level one. A red Pikmin only cave. That's very concerning to me. How do I, that's weird. I don't know how I tackle that. Have these dried plants been bundled up? By who, I wonder? Hmm. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do there. Why do I do that? Also, those are much bigger than normal. Oh! Wait. So, what are we supposed to do here? Deal with you, kill, kill you. Sure, Ochi. Sure, you do that, bro. This is odd. Uh, there, that demonstrated the ability for us to control fire on our own, or lure enemies over to those those thatched bundles. Got that. I'm gonna need Ochi here. Knock this down. I kind of buffered that too. I that was that was nice. I didn't think I could do that. Uh, I I released X before the gauge even filled up. Ooh, hi. An iridescent glint beetle. And you stop. I throw. Do you have one more in yet? Usually it's only three, and it's only three. Perfect. One one cool thing. Uh, I. I will hold, and this is par partially due to my childhood, I do like the C-Stick controls more than the Swarm controls. They feel a little bit... It just feels more satisfying for me to control the Swarm than for me just to press a button. Like, like here. If I just press X here, he's going to die. That's all I need to do, is, is just press X, and he's, he's done. Whereas, when I'm swarming them, I'm I'm thinking about oh I can't swarm too far that looks really weird I can't swarm them too far because they're gonna get underneath him and and in front of him that's not what I want Ochi that's literally never what I want you can get that that one though oh a pine cone ha huh, looks like there was something in the fire if you take that fire starter you might be able to use it to burn something. Or you can use it to light another one of those bonfire altars and then have even more fire starters at the ready. But Aww. that all aside, that thing looks so hot, I am sweating from here. Oh, it's on a timer. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so sweet. Come on, buddy. Look at this. That's an awesome mechanic. Oh, and it refreshes. Oh, that's how it works. I love that. That's, that is fresh design. Oh, uh, it's a little bit awkward. Can I cheat? I can. <laughs> ha! Throw. Throw. L watch me cheat here. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on. I am a dirty cheater, although Ochi's back, so it doesn't matter. But let the record show, I could have cheated. That's super cool, though. It, it's like Bomb Rocks in a, a fresh way. Uh, let's throw you up there. Come back. Throw you there. Refresh it. Throw you there. Eh, swarm that one up. We, we, have the, we have the time. We have the resources here. You guys do that since there's some leaves among you. I forgot entirely what I was saying. Uh, there's a pretzel up there. I kind of want the pretzel. Get that. I don't need Ochi. I almost grabbed him. I'm totally fine if that pinecone runs out because we've burned everything that we need to burn. Oh, man, I've been I've been jonesing for some big pretzels recently. There's ah, oh, there's such a good snack. Get some mustard or cream cheese even. Ah, oh, it's. Pretzel buns are also good. They're just a classic at this point. Like they're a fad that stuck around, and you, you gotta respect the fads that stick around. It's not like, I was gonna say FNAF, but that, that really is stuck around too. It's just a good thing. It's just a good thing for everyone. Pretzel, pretzel buns are actually 
in fact, the truth. Where am I going? I totally forgot where the thing was. Wasn't it near the start? Yeah, it was near the start. I just went in a big circle for no reason. Cool new mechanic. Let's see what else they do with it. Frozen Inferno sub-level 2. And now it's frozen. This is why I wanted those ice Pikmin, man. Why you gotta do me like that? This... So we're gonna have to be quick. We're gonna... Oh, and we can't take Ochi with us. Yeah. This... This is not gonna be good. Can you guys swarm that really quick? Thank you. Good job. Um... Get to the fire. I don't care about anything else. We need that fire. And that should keep us warm as well. It's nice and toasty by the fire. Yes, I love fire. Get that nice, juicy roast going on. Mm, yes. Oh, I, I, I totally forgot. I need to stop taking, um... I need to stop taking Max Pikmin in. Because they keep giving me Pikmin in these caves. It's like... It's a, it's just a design tenant. Uh, we're gonna wait on that, actually. It's a design tenant at this point. Um, okay, so I ha oh, I have the, I have the fi the pine cone. Which means I can do this. And get Ochi in here, although I don't think I need him. We'll start this. And I don't think it's, it's like partially frigid. I don't know. Oh, it canceled out. That's cool. They also gave us rock pigment for a weird reason. What happens if I do that? Oh, it just does a ton of damage. That's... Okay, let's do that. Sure. Sure. Bloop. That's so much damage. Look at that. Bloop. Don't care. Okay, melt. And near the fire is fine, but then we walk away from the fire and it's not fine. So, I want to do this... I want to swarm them on that. I want to break that, which these I've, I've noticed in post are part of what creates the cold conditions. So I always want to break those when I see them. Uh, that has like an apple or a tomato in it, it looks like. A, a cherry tomato. Man, I wish I liked tomatoes. Oh, oh, a frigid candy pop bun. Hidden back here. Let's refresh this while we're at it. And we have the rock Pikmin now. We have ice Pikmin. So we can start. We can start by call you guys. Ochi, stop blazing around. Um, we're going to kill. Kill. Oh, sick! Kite him, kite him! Run around, run around him, run around him! Keep throwing! Nice! Got it. Okay. Uh, it's very cold, it's very cold. There, good job. Okay, guys. I know, I know it's cold. I know you're not happy. Really? There you go. Gotta stick with it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Done. Now we can start clearing this entire thing out. Grab that. Or just grab everything, honestly. Just get everything you can. Ochi, go on the apple. Legit, I'm just gonna get everything here. Oh, there's, there's so much plastic over there. Starfruit. sick. One thing I've kind of noticed about this game is it doesn't feel like we're that constrained by our Pikmin numbers compared to other games. And yeah, part of it is Ochi and how much I've upgraded him because we were constrained at the beginning, but like, I even when I had 60 Pikmin, it didn't feel that bad. Treasures hardly ever take more than 10, uh, and for that reason, purples don't quite feel quite as good as they are, although they weren't good because of the carry ca carrying capacity. That was just the icing on top. It really doesn't feel like I'm... I'm strained for resources that much.
But I also don't... I, I have a sneaking suspicion. Like, either this is the last area, or there are two areas to go. Just... Like, either I'm metagaming the, uh, the difficulty progression. Either I'm metagaming the, uh, the di difficulty progression of, um, of the Dendori challenges, because we haven't faced anything more than three at this point. Or they're saving that for the after game. It's like one, of, one or the other. Come on, jump on, jump on, it's warm. This is frozen, so I can't jump on that switch. Oh, hi! I can't freeze you. If I can stone you. Okay, while well, you're doing that, wow, that... They just, they just have it. They just got it. Got our pine cone. Uh, where am I going? Uh, not one of you. Am I using the pine cone on this? Does it melt it? No. Okay. Well, buddy, uh, here. You grab that. You go up there. Um, I, I want to take care of the ice first. Ah, there we go. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. Technically, I can probably get multiple of the, the, the embers. Um, if I have multiple sconces, I think... Yeah, I can get more. Yeah, I, I, I can get multiple. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, you get that. That did not do anything. I'm just gonna let you guys deal with that. There we go. Have fun. Have fun over there. I'm gonna go deal with this fire. Uh, sure. Throw that there. And honestly, we've lost a lot of leaves at, or a lot of flowers at this point, so any bit of nectar is useful. It's just sad I can't really, um, my ice pikmin can't freeze anything here, so a lot of their benefit is... is gone. Okay, back to being frozen. Can't carry stuff yet, or it's it's not wise of me to do so, so... for the time being... Oh, but that has... wait, that has... a thing on it. Okay, good. Bit by bit. Bit by bit, we're thawing this out. Camera. Oh my word. There. Bit by bit, we're thawing this out. Die. And I need another one. Grab that. Is this the last one? We're fine. Okay, we're good. Uh, you, sir. I hate you. So I'm just gonna do that. Bye. Yeah. I don't play. That's not what I wanted. Uh, there's still a little, like, whenever I switch between Tears of the Kingdom and, and Pikmin 4, I have to tell myself that Y is B or B is Y all over again. Because if you, if you follow one series and not the other, first off, that's interesting, because I think that the Pikmin and Zelda go together very, very well. Uh, but if you follow one and not the other, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, I switched Y to be B, so it matches up with other Zelda games a little bit more with, with B being sword, and then, but also more importantly, uh, it allows you to hold the run button and then roll your thumb over to jump and get running jumps just a little bit easier. Uh, it's something that I, I was really excited for when I... Well, I played the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild when I originally Let's Played it. Uh, that's awkward. That actually worked. And I can't control the camera for some reason this episode. 
Okay, you guys freeze that. Just... I kind of want that. Gone. But yeah, uh... It, it, it was just like an optimization thing. And honestly, that's how all games should be. All games should have a, a remap function. It's just like... It just, I think, the correct thing to do. Um, some people might have, like, a disability where they might need to remap their controls so that they, they don't stress, like, let's say, an arthritic thumb or something. Um, and put more of the weight on their left hand. So maybe they put do left stick in as the A button. It's just like a... It's just a quality of life feature. Some people come from other games, like another shooter, and rather than, than program every single game to have a specific, like, button mapping, like Halo or something, and you just say, hey, you can assign everything, and then save a profile. It just, honestly, it simplifies everything. Final floor. Oh, they're gonna use the, the cinder mechanic. Uh-oh. What is the boss? What is the boss? Uh, first off. Is it... For some reason, my gut tells me that this boss is going to be... A, uh, a long legs. I just kind of get that vibe. I mean, it would be out here, right? It would be out here if it wasn't going to drop from the ceiling. What? 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 Are we- is this linked to the past? That's what I thought. And now we can kill it, right? That's the haunting music as it appeared. Not what I expect from this genre. Let's get... Eh, uh, sure. You guys can deal with that. Get another one. What's its attack? It freezes. Okay. Oh, it, it cancels them. I see, so we're gonna have to relight them. What a weird enemy. It's kind of spooky, but I'm always a fan of moths. I'm always a fan of moths being shown off. And we have to, yeah, we have to keep this. We have to keep these lit or else we're gonna have to be juggling our Pikmin freezing to death. Break the frost. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He has a tongue attack. Break it again. And this should do him in. Not too difficult. And at this point, you know what? Uh, again, this is my playthrough. I, I want to see what this looks like. He's at low health. It shrouds itself in frost again. Let's grab this so we're just not worrying about that. It. So it's. It reminds me of Link to the Past a little bit, but it also reminds me of Toilet Princess with Yetta. It's pretty, though. Okay, let's kill it. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Come on. We need to get the other one. And melt it. And now it dies. Later. Got him. That's a cool boss. Also, it's kind of about time the game threw another unique boss at us. It feels like it's been, it's been a little bit since we've encountered an actual like area boss that is unique to this game. So I despawn the wings briefly or clip through them with the camera. Cool mechanic, though. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, can I break this with Ochi? I can. And we got a Leafling, too. I think I have Cure. I'm pretty sure I have some some Glow Sap for this this little guy. Alright, bring him back. Let's call our Idol Pikmin back to us and get ready to leave this cave. And we're going to have a couple seconds. If you remember, uh, we're not going to be exiting this cave where we entered. We're exiting on the counter kind of above it. So we only have a few moments to... Um, mainly, I want to lower the rope for ourselves tomorrow. Leafling recovered. Good work. Finally, Colin realizes that we can't get the ID info. Good job, buddy. A little bit of self-awareness. 
Okay, we're only gonna have a couple seconds. It's probably gonna be in the countdown, and we need to beeline it, skipping everything, and lower the, the yarn for ourselves. Let's go back to the surface. Da -da 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 -da. One leafling. Some treasure. Another series complete. 100% completion, and I don't know how many Pikmin I lost. None. I did not lose a single one. I thought I did, like, sub-level one, but I am I must be crazy. Okay. Gotta be fast. I don't know why I would need yellows. Um, I'm not gonna take them. I'm gonna take reds. I'm taking reds. S hit the switch. I don't remember what it does. Get on Ochi. So we don't have Pikmin falling down. We'll deal with that tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, I see it. it. That's why I'm here. That is that is an ice onion. A light blue onion! Even though it's frozen, it's still buzzing with activity inside. Fascinating! Quickly. Oh, we can't get there from here. Uh, go. Go. Break it. Break it. Oh, that stinks. Whistle up. Yes. Yes. Sweet. Down to the last second, and we just managed to drop it off the edge. That's all I was expecting. I wasn't even expecting to get that. I thought we were just going to lower the yarn, but apparently we do that elsewhere. I don't know where, but we did hit a switch, so we're going to find out the consequences of that switch hit tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow, if we don't, if we have Glow Sap to cure this Leafling. Otherwise, we're going to be doing the night missions. That was a productive day. I don't think our percentage completion shows it, but... We, we did a lot. We solved a lot. Le one leafling. Also, that gave us two pup drive for some reason. Yep, we completed that series. We're not going to look at the series completion um, bios until the end of the game. Until we have them all. That'll be the, oops, the last thing that we do with schnauz. Lots of bonuses, more veggies. We have every vegetable known to man. That's what that means. Oh, well, that's a pretty good bump. Not enough for us to to uh to round it out tomorrow, but we're gonna we're gonna end tomorrow with probably like eighty five percent at this rate. I can't believe it. That leafling is really Captain Olamar. I'm a bit surprised myself, more so that Jeff just guessed the password with zero clues. That is insane. The dog, the locked shelter, it all lines up with the, what's in the voyage log. It's almost like all of common sense and every detail we found thus far points directly at it, and it wasn't a mystery at all. Yeah, I kind of feel a little bit dumb and stupid, but you know what? At the end of the day, we are just sitting in our chairs, eating popcorn and uh, Cheetos while watching Jeff do all the work for us, so we can't really be blamed for that. Next time, we return to the hero's hideout. And uh, get an uh, uh, ice onion. Have you been paying attention? Like, come on, do I, do I need to say that? Uh, bye. <laughs>